back at the field that we planted, I believe it's been like eight, nine days ago, a week ago, something like that. It's all my days are all melted together now. But anyway, we're back here. We did get some rain right after I planted it. They were calling for like, like an inch and a half. We ended up only getting like a quarter of an inch, which kind of sucks. But uh, there, it is. the beans are starting to come up. Uh, some, not, in some places they're harder to find than others. They're definitely still not all germinated for sure. But like I can show you, you can try to find a good spot like right here. So, you know, those are all beans. That's not, this is. There's a bean, a couple of them right there. So there's another four of them. So they're definitely coming up. Um, I haven't even looked in like actually in here yet. I imagine it's probably about the same. There is, they're harder to see through this uh, grass. Let me see if I can find a good spot. I wanna like just get a spot to show you, hold on. All right, so. Trying to home, I'm trying to move the grass out of the way so you guys can see. But here, so as you can see, there's a bean there, there's a bean there and stuff, and there's more, there's, there's more of them up and through there and stuff. I wouldn't say they're as germinating as out in here, but there's oh yeah. The more I look, the more I'm seeing. I'm not worried about it anyway. So we got the grimp, the crimper, the Goliath. KTP Outdoors Crimper. This thing is awesome, I think. So, free spins obviously there, drop it down, roll across, crimps it. Um, I've only ever did one field with it like an hour ago. The one by my house, I wanted to make sure everything was kind of working before I started filming. So this is the second field, first real field. That one by my house is small, this one's big. So, one thing that will be interesting, I did come in and spray. So all of this that you're seeing here, like the, like the cows grazed, that's been that, I sprayed that. And then I sprayed from about here. You see these strips? These strips are from where this fall I, I didn't plant. I must have just, I don't know why I did them, but like I just missed those little strips. So weeds are coming up through there. So from about there, that way, and then all the way down. So about two thirds of it, I would say, I sprayed. The last third I didn't, I want to kind of see a comparison in about a month. Uh, Cause there isn't, there's very little to no weeds in this part that that's like planted well, like through, so. <clears throat> That'll be interesting to see the difference on that. So basically, I'm gonna show, obviously show you guys when it happens, but that thing is still spinning. Super well balanced. So basically what's gonna happen is you have a big strand like this, and every like six inches, I think, or eight inches, whatever those blades are, it's gonna break it, break it, break it, break it. And then, when you, so when you grab it, what's this gonna look like? It's like this, so like obviously it'll be broken like there. And then as you go along, they're all different. Anyway, so when it's gonna knock it down on the ground like this, and then it won't necessarily be dead right off the bat, but it won't be able, and it'll still be connected. So it won't be able to grow any new shoots or anything, and it won't be able to pull itself up. So it'll just eventually die. It'll die pretty quick, actually. So that's the gist of it. And then obviously I'm gonna get in the tractor and keep and get going and show you guys kind of the before and after what it looks like. I'm, I'll probably make, probably make two passes and then come back and show you guys just so we have a little bit of a, sample size and then i can i'll talk about the benefits and all that stuff anyway so i'm gonna hop in the tractor uh i'm probably gonna do the two passes real quick then come back then that's when i'll set up the camp the tripod and you see me move and stuff like that but i want to just get a little bit of it done it's getting kind of late i got this field and their field to do so tonight so i'm just gonna get going when i get a couple rows done i'll come back show you guys and then i'll film it actually in use so hang on for that all right guys i'm back so i made two loops around the field as you can see right here, but that's it. And well, now, now we can do a little bit better analysis of what's going on. So basically, if I come out here and just grab some random, I'm not even looking at it, I'm just gonna grab a random one and hold up by the stem, it's crimped. It's crimped there, it's actually, it's actually if I hold it down here, it's actually crimped right there first off. Oop, and then it's crimped there real good. And then even if you try to hold it up here, you can see it's, it's crimped right there too. So that should, uh, my understanding, kill it. You know, I can just grab another random one real quick. Voila, crimped, crimped. <laughs> it's crimped there. Yeah, you can see it's about every like six inches or so there should be one. So anyway, it's all laying down good. Come down to here where we have like this big mat and you move it away to expose the dirt, you will see Oop, hopefully it's 
focus for you guys. Healthy, perfectly fine soybean sprouts. So, like I said, just like some some of the rye might survive, some of the beans might die. But for the most part, I'd say over 90, over 90, 95% are gonna be just fine. So what's gonna happen now is now you have this, and this stuff is actually, so it's about, I don't know, stomach high on me, but the average height. It was actually supposed to be about in there a foot or two taller, but like I said earlier, we had a weird spring and it was real cool. We never got those real hot days and to grow, to get the stuff a little bit taller, but it's fine, I'm happy with it. It'll work. Uh, so as you see, it basically makes like, it's basically like putting mulch on the ground. I mean, it covers most of the ground. Some spots aren't, you know, like where I maybe missed a couple rows here, you know, I was planting it in the fall. But for the most part, this whole field is going to get covered with the big, with the nice, you know, couple inch mat. Now that will do a couple things. Now when this stuff starts to die, you can already see where I ran over stuff last week. It turns this yellow color almost white. If you know anything about sunlight, every light colors, you know, like white reflects the sun off, you know. If you touch a black car, it's a lot harder than you touch a white car in the summertime. So that alone, when the sun is beating on this ground, it's a lot of the heat's getting reflected off, you know. So besides the uh, reflecting of the light, you know, sun hitting it reflects off. I saw a study in the guy I watched, Grant Woods, Growing Deer.tv, go check him out. He did it last year, the year before. He took a heat gun and went to his field and pushed the dirt away, like, or no, he didn't push it. He found a spot where maybe a tractor tire turned or whatever. Here you could just go like a bear. He found a bare spot of dirt and heat gunned it. And it was like a hundred and it was like 95 out or 90 degrees outside. And in the dirt, it was like 130 degrees or something like that. Don't quote me exactly. But for example, it was like 130 degrees. So all of that moisture that was in that soil was evaporated. Then he did, he heat gunned, you know, the, the rye, the, like just boom, anywhere, boom. And it was like 100 degrees or 90 degrees or something like that, like a 30 degree temperature change. Then he moved, it, he exposed the bare dirt that was covered. He gunned that and it was like 78 degrees. It was amazing. It was crazy. You know, so you're holding it. When you do get rain, you're holding in that moisture for so much longer, you know, days, weeks longer, which is really helpful if you get a dry spell. Another thing it does is it suppresses weeds. Like I said, it would have been a little bit better if it was a little bit taller. Year after year, this will get better, you know. This year won't be as uh, effective, but you get the idea. When you have, say, twice as much as this, and you can't see any dirt at all, it's really hard for, number one, for little weed seeds to get into, penetrated to get to the dirt. And then if they do get to the dirt, they don't have as much energy as, like, a big soybean or a corn seed or one of the bigger seeds. So when they shoot out, they, they at least all the energy try to make it up, and they don't actually make it through all this stuff and then they never get sunlight and they die. So my understanding is once you get a big good mat built up, you have to spray once a year at the most compared to like normally I'd spray two, three, four times a year depending on the field. So that's just cheaper, it's just better for everything. And uh, yeah. Also, lastly, before I stop boring you guys and get to doing what you probably wanna see, which is actually see this thing work, uh, fertilizer. Obviously, it's not as good as just throwing out uh, like you know store-bought fertilizer, but this will slowly degrade all summer. And that's degrading. It's actually releasing its nutrients back into the ground. You know, every rain as it starts to biodegrade, it starts putting its nutrients that it's been creating as it's been growing back into the soil. You know, we're not harvesting this. This is staying. Everything that we plant here stays. Uh, so over time, you know, it's just like adding fertilizer. And since you're not taking that fertilizer away, you're not taking that crop out every year. And deer browse is pretty minimal. Theoretically speaking, every year you do this, your soil, without adding actual like store-bought fertilizer, your soil health should be getting better and better. Anyway, I'm gonna get the tripod set up, get this thing going. Like I said, I got this field and they're a big field dude tonight, so I gotta hurry up. It's already like seven, we got like an hour and a half of daylight left. So uh, enjoy the tractor. I'll probably get a couple clips and then that'll probably be the end of the video. So thanks for guys for watching. Enjoy me using this and subscribe.